the zone. Modern Rock in Victoria, we are the Zone at 91.3. The sounds of cake, short skirt, long jacket, and the strokes. You only live once before that. Uh, it's 7.49. Good morning. Yes. See, I knew it. I knew you knew it. what? Okay, you told me earlier this week that you had a surprise for me. This morning you told me it was not happening. Right. And I knew that you had a little smirk on your face all morning, and I knew that it was still happening. Well, remember when you told us that you, uh, you know, you were really fun. Your favorite thing in the world when you were feeling down and out or just needed a moment. Yes. Was, uh, can you hear that? Yeah. What is that? Was to go and see ducks. Oh. Well, we bought birds of prey. Whoa. That, that what is, is, is that? That's an owl. Hi, this is Spock. He's a great horned owl. He's about two or three years old. He's fully mature. Look at his eyes. <laughs> can yeah, you? they've got great big eyes. These guys are nocturnal predators so they need large eyes to be able to get let in as much light as possible is he like angry right no, now no. to be here he's oh, curious he's, he's checking, checking you guys out, out yeah sure. he's looking at you man yeah yeah his he's eyes just his pupils just bond dilated. with animals they know me yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they, they're happy <laughs> so tell us uh you know uh some amazing facts about uh now this is the great horned owl he is a great horned owl yes he's the biggest owl that you're probably going to be finding on vancouver island <laughs> Why is he making that noise? I thought owls hooted. Who? <laughs> He's just communicating with me. He, since he was raised at the center, we're always talking and we're always communicating amongst ourselves. So he feels like he wants to be part of the conversation. Oh, that is so cool. Spock, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> what's up, man? Why is he called yeah. Spock? Well, look at him. Only logical. Because uh, oh, he's got the Vulcan ears. Yeah. yeah. Only logical. Did you just say? <laughs> it's only logical. So give us some amazing stats about uh, this owl. Well, great horned owls are pretty amazing. I mean, these guys are the top predators in the food chain at nighttime. So right across the board, or right, in right the air. Right across the board, in the air. Really? Oh yeah, these wow. guys will take anything from uh, uh, mice and rats, snakes. They've even been heard to take uh, skunks. He's staring at which me. Which is <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah. So these guys, even though they've got enormous eyes to let in a lot of light, yeah, you, uh, they also rely heavily on their hearing. And so if you look at the shape of his face, is like a pair of satellite discs on either side of his beak. Right. And it acts as if you were to put your ears behind your, or your hands behind your ears to help <laughs> channel sound into his ears. And so this guy can actually hunt in complete darkness. Wow. Look at his talons. I have a question. Yeah. Um, so owls are nocturnal, so is this, would he normally be sleeping right now, or why is he uh, up? He might be snoozing, yeah, he doesn't mind being up, because I usually feed him during the daytime. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> why He's, is it that owls are so hard to find, or to spot, in, in, in the wild? Is it because they're naturally nocturnal? Yeah, they are pretty nocturnal, so they're not always sure, up and no, about and the, <laughs> active when we're active. But also, he's got this amazing plumage that camouflages him just amazingly into the trees. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't move and he's sitting there, you can't spot him at all. Will his talons be able to penetrate my skull? <laughs> that's a good question. That is a good that's question. a fair question. Yeah. I don't think so. No? No. It would probably mess me pretty up pretty sure good, though. you're safe. You yeah. Know. Did um, you bring gloves for us to wear so we can no. hang out with him, too? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, would somebody, if somebody went up to the um, Pacific Northwest Raptors, uh, which, by the way, is up in Duncan, um, would they be able to... Okay, <laughs> man, just relax, bro. Um... <laughs> Uh, would would they be able to hold the like how interactive is it with the birds with these raptors? We are, we are raptors? very interactive at, mm -hmm. at the raptors. We offer um, with admission you get to come and watch both of our flying demonstrations, which occur at one thirty and three thirty. His head can just turn all the way around. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, two hundred and eighty <laughs> degrees. It's pretty far. Not quite three hundred and sixty. That would make his head pop off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Does he ever get angry? I mean, well, like right now, would you know when it's time to put him away? Is he getting angry at us? I, right I would now? be able to tell when he gets anxious, but right now he's just curious, checking you guys out. <laughs> right. Never seen you before. And so, how do you avoid having him just fly off? Is he chained to you somehow? I've got a leash on him, and yeah. that's just for his own safety. I mean, there's a lot of equipment around here. I don't want to be messing up your guys' expensive stuff, and I don't want him flying into expensive your. Expensive stuff, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it looks expensive. There's lots of buttons, okay? <laughs> but yeah, it's just for his own safety, and he's not going to fly off. He's. Chill what do you got? Him. What do you feed him? Well, we do try to mimic their natural diet, so we feed them a lot of uh, mice, rodents, <coughs> yeah, also quail, chicken, rabbit, pretty much anything, and he'll eat it whole. Really, Fur, feathers, bones, everything. And these guys are so cool; they'll actually digest all of the meat, all of the organs, but they won't digest the feathers or fur or bones. <coughs> and they'll cough it up in a pellet, and that really? pellet will contain a little skeleton of a mouse or hey. whatever he ate before. 
my kids' preschool went to Swan Lake for a field trip the other day, and they had, you could buy owl pellets. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know what that was. I thought it was poop, right? I thought it was owl poop. And they're like, no, no, no. It's like they regurgitate it, and yeah. it comes in this little casing, and then you dig through it like you're, a, like you're an archaeologist, and they find bones of mice and birds in there. Yeah, yeah it's sounds really cool. Totally yeah, you can tell horrible. exactly what these guys have been eating just by the bones of their puke, essentially. Yeah. All right. Well, there you Love go. Yeah. Um, thanks, Spock. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, now yeah, you don't now want to say know, anything. Quiet. Actually, one more question before we go. Why are his eyes so yellow? Why is his ye- eyes so yellow? That's a very good question. It's been kind of thought that uh, more diurnal or crepuscular, which are owls that are awake during the dawn and dusk hours, have lighter colored eyes. A lot of the very almost purely nocturnal owls will have darker colored eyes, so very black. They almost can't even see their eyes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you look so serious, man. You need to chill. <laughs> look at him. What a beautiful creature. Yeah. Okay, more with uh, Brian in a couple minutes. Here. Dylan Willows, Jason Lamb, The Morning Zone. <laughs> Take a picture of that. Come on, the bird's just normal. Uh, well, no, that's not a normal bird. <laughs> no, that is all on video. See, and you thought that this surprise was going to be, you were just assuming the worst. You told me it might be terrifying, and I'll well, just, uh, as we were off the air there, I'll just have you know that you were far more terrified than me. He flapped his wings, and you went running like a little girl. Well, I was, I was hanging out with Spock, the owl, and all of a sudden he started just, he was trying to fly him. He was He's a bird, him. Dylan. That is not a bird. That is a raptor, friend. Have you seen his claws? He could pick you up and fly away with you. Yeah. And he tried to lunge at me, so we've put him away now. <laughs> um, what do you? What do you have? What do you? You have two birds here who kind of look like partners in crime. Yeah. No, these two are a pair of little bandits. This is Boomer and Roo. Boomer and Roo. What's Boomer up, and guys? Roo. They're a pair of Australian kookaburras. These are laughing kookaburras. Yeah. So uh, do they? Can can they make noise? Oh yeah. No, these can guys you? laugh. Do you have a good joke? Uh, Jason always has a good joke. Um, make, make the birds laugh, bro. <laughs> Why did the owl cross the road? I don't to know, To get Jason. to the kookaburras. <laughs> wow, that is so loud. They love you, man. Well, you know, I'm pretty You're funny. Right. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> get them in my... Best audience encore tonight. you're ever gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was great. Um, <laughs> that is unbelievable. Uh, now they're just looking at me. Oh okay. yeah. So tell us about these birds. They're not. They're not native to here. Uh, no, these they? guys. You'll. You're not gonna find kookaburras here in Canada at all. These are actually Australian birds. Although they were born here in Canada, they are Canadian. Okay. Uh, we'll find their relatives here in Canada. These guys are the largest species of kingfisher. So things like the pied kingfishers that you'll see here in uh, BC, Mm -hmm. these guys are just the largest version of all kingfishers. And what a difference just in the length of their beaks compared to that owl. Oh yeah. No, that's, the beak is actually the main weapon in these guys. So when they go in to catch their prey, which in Australia would be things like snakes or lizards, they're going to go in with their beak. Whereas something like Spock would use his feet to grab his prey. Um, tell us about um, Pacific Northwest raptors itself. You were saying that, um, you know, because I was asking you, when you feed these birds, um, are, are you letting them hunt their food or, you know, how, do, how does it work up there? All Whoa, of, man. <laughs> <laughs> all of these birds fly for their food. And so the way that it works is that all of these birds fly free. I'm sorry, but they're it not is, flying free right now. Whoa, You're man. fine, man. Listen, are you guys not going to be a little nervous if all of a sudden these birds start flying around? She's and got them on a leash. They're fine. They're well, fine. we're getting you know, hands here. Yeah. Okay. They just want to come check you out. They like your beard. Well, all right. Yeah, they want to yeah all beard. these guys fly free, and what it is is that they come back for our, for their food. These guys are rewarded with food, and we uh, give them a safe place to stay during the nighttime. So even if he does go off and takes the day off as a vacation, he'll come back for supper at night. Is there any way to um, really understand the intelligence that these birds of prey and these raptors? Have I mean, do you guys have a firm understanding of how intelligent these creatures are? We, it's actually very interesting you ask that, because a lot of people really do underestimate the intelligence of birds, hence the term bird brain. Right, but Actually, yeah. no, they are extremely intelligent. It's absolutely amazing. You can see how quickly these guys will learn mm-hmm. habits and little tricks to, you know, sneak your food out of your food bag kind of thing. And these kookaburros got great senses of humor. You, oh, I mean, yeah. you should tell them another joke, Lambo. I don't, mm-hmm. have, another, I don't have a lot of bird jokes. Just say something <laughs> funny, man. Um... <laughs> 
Hey, Kookaburro. I'll just do a little funny face. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, um, <laughs> that actually sounded like a laugh. That was fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's a good face. Okay. Well, uh, Bryony, thank you so much for coming down. Well, thank you so much. Um, we will post all the information for Pacific Northwest Raptors. Um, it. How, what would you say? Not even a 40-minute drive from here, is it? Not even, no. And we yeah. do offer a lot of hands-on courses, thing, anything from 15 minutes to a full week-long apprenticeship. To so, learn how to do what you do? To learn to learn all about our birds and to do handling, uh, hands-on, learn about falconry, about its history, about how we care for these birds, and exactly how we feed them and fly them free. Sure, You're yeah. You're more than welcome to come by, Dylan. You know I'd love totally to see will. you there. The Zone at 91.3. Modern Rock.